What benefits does Shield bring to Android TV? Okay, well, you know, so I think Android TV is, um, you know, there's two operating systems in the living room um, that we think are going to really be successful in the living room. One is Android, the other is iOS, and fundamentally that's because they're the dominant operating systems you would use on your mobile device. And customers want to be able to enjoy their content in the living room and take that content, pause it, play it uh, when they go on the go. Um, and so Android and iOS have both sort of enabled their app ecosystems just recently um, into the living room. So Android did it just a few months ago with the launch of Android TV and at Google I.O. Um, on May 28th. They're going to talk about the momentum of that platform. Um, Apple is going to do the same thing a few weeks later at WWDC. Um, and so what Android TV does now is that for all, you know, that you know, billion people a year that buy Android devices, it gives you the ability to take that large app ecosystem and enjoy all that content um, in your living room. So whether it's your music, your movies, your TV shows, your apps, or your games, you can now enjoy all of that in the living room. And what we've built with Shield is, it's you know the flagship of Android TV devices. Um, and so it's gonna be the only 4K that top box in the world. It's gonna be able to play the, the best games. Um, and because it's based on the Tegra processor, you can play all those apps that are gonna enable on the App Store faster and better than any other device. How does the Shield console take advantage of 4K? Okay, so you know, the 4K market is really coming into the mainstream. There's two things that's happening that's driving that. Um, the first thing is, is that some of the major apps in the living room, the two ones that actually people spend the most time watching, uh, first is Netflix and the other is YouTube. Um, they're both driving 4K heavily. So every sh new sh TV show that Netflix is driving, whether it's House of Cards, uh, Daredevil, Bloodline, all those, all, all those shows are actually filmed in 4K and you can enjoy that content in 4K. Uh, and Shield is the first set-top box in the world that's certified as a Netflix 4K device. Uh, and YouTube, similarly, has really been driving 4K content. GoPro has 4K cameras. Um, a lot of the latest phones have the ability to capture content at 4K. And then PCs also can capture content at 4K, like our GeForce cards can capture gameplay at 4K. You can post it on YouTube and people can watch that content. Um, and so, you know, you can get access to this beautiful 4K content with growing ecosystem of apps um, in your living room. The second thing is the price of TVs have really started to come down. A couple years ago, you could buy a 60-inch 1080p TV um, at $2,500. You can buy a 4K 60-inch TV for under $1,000 now. So the price of TVs that are 4K have really collapsed. Um, and so we're seeing, you know, the market data is saying that there's going to be 35 million TVs sold this year that are 4K TVs. In a couple years, that's going to be 100 million TVs a year. Um, so, you know, the 4K sort of ecosystem is really maturing. And if you want to buy a device in the living room right now, it just makes sense to buy a 4K device.